This is my whelping room. I have a crate for the mom. She goes in there as she pleases. I leave the door open. Um, sometimes she's tired, she needs a break. She hangs out in there. I have a little fan to keep her cool because this room can be a little bit warm. Um, I also like this clock. I got it at Sam's Club. It tells the temperature of the room, the time, the date. Um, this plastic padding. I love this plastic padding. I got it on Amazon um, and it covers my rugs, which were brand new in this bedroom. Uh, water bowl, my ring light. I love the ring light at night to take pictures or do videos. Um, here are the puppies. This is my easy whelp whelping box. It's brand new. Um, I absolutely love it. Although I don't know that I like the pig rails that much. I'm not going to lie. Nevertheless, I like it. Okay. A little chair for me to hang out in throughout the night or whenever I'm sitting next to the mom while she's feeding them. This is my incubator. Not using it anymore. Put that in there just so that I always know what temperature it is. Um, I love this little device right here. It's a nasal aspirator. I got it off Amazon. Um, and it works really, really good. I also use these from time to time when I need them. There's my oxygen concentrator, which is a must for me with breeding. Absolute must. Um, also, you're going to need towels and wipes. Puppy scale, which actually this is a baby scale. I got it off Amazon. I love it. Just put the puppy right on it. And it'll tell you the exact weight. My little board for information, extra pads. When I'm cleaning out the whelping box, I use this to put the puppies in. I also used this when I brought the puppies home with rice packs. And I'll show you what the rice packs are. These, when I'm bringing the puppies home, I usually use long tube socks and I fill them with rice and then I put them in the microwave and warm them up for like three minutes and usually it'll keep its heat for about minimum an hour, which is long enough to bring the puppies home. Um, I'll ask the vet's office to warm them up in their microwave prior to me bringing the pups home. And then I just stick them in that underneath the towel or blanket and it keeps the puppies warm. I use multiples of these. And I also use it in the incubator. I'll show you guys, cause people have asked me about these. So mind you, I usually use longer tube socks. Um, keeps the corners down so that when the puppies are in here, they can't get under there and get suffocated. So I usually have them along the edges of the incubator. Let's see what else. Uh, that's where I sleep. <laughs> and then I have the nebulizer, which I have ready to go in case of an emergency. This is another must have for me. Um, because you never know when your puppies are going to get aspiration pneumonia. And if they do, this can help save their life along with the oxygen concentrator. You want to have this when you breed a litter of French Bulldogs. It is a must, must, must have. If I could have two things, it would be the oxygen concentrator and the nebulizer. Those are must haves for me. And then this is a humidifier. Um, I love this humidifier works great and here's some stuff that I have I have saline that I use in the nebulizer in case of an emergency I got these off Amazon as well colloidal silver do some research on this it's another must-have for me vapor steam um, I use that in the humidifier in case of an emergency and then this is albuterol you get this from your vet um, and then what else I have my little setup here uh, I sit here and log on and do whatever I need to do. My puppy contracts, which I'm going through, getting ready for the new puppy owners. My camera, take pictures, blah, blah, blah. I have my TV. Um, I have some bright lights in here just so I can see what's going on. And then another thing, when the mom's feeding the pups at night or whenever, especially in the very beginning, in the very, very beginning, I'm hands-on with her. But after... 
I know that she's taken to her puppies and she's doing a great job. I'll sit in this chair. That way I can just see what's going on. And if one starts aspirating, I can immediately tend to the puppy. Um, and yeah, that's it. Um, if you guys have any questions, concerns, please feel free to send me a comment or a private message or you can check me out on Facebook, Frenchie Academy. That's the name of my group. Or you can listen to my podcast, which is called French Bulldog Academy. And thank you all for watching this video.